their claws are a little bit brittle, so they don't walk with putting any pressure on them. They kind of tuck them under their bodies, and then they'll hobble when they walk and use their tail to help them balance, so they kind of look like little hobbits. Really adorable. They use these claws for digging into termite and anthill mounds. Uh, a single pangolin can consume up to 70 million ants by itself annually. And they do this because they have the longest tongue relative to its body size of any other mammal. Their tongue is so long that it has muscle attachments on its pelvis. So they use this really long tongue to stick it all the way down into these anthills and suck up all these other ants. They don't have any teeth, so they will ingest rocks and other kinds of hard materials that help to grind up the ants in their stomachs. And even though they are primarily ant eaters, they aren't actually ant eaters as you might know them. They are in totally different orders than the giant ant eater or even armadillos. It's, they're kind of like a mashup between an armadillo and an ant eater, but they're physiologically so unique that they're in their own order as they are right now. grind up. Grind up. Grind up.